Oh my god, that was the hypest thing ever. That was last year after the Michigan Notre Dame game video I took on my phone. <laughs> that shit was absolutely insane. I forgot how crazy it was. That makes me laugh every time I watch it. <laughs> that was awesome. But uh alright. So now to get to the Madden instead of the uh, real life football here, we got a VG game once again, Virgin Gaming. I'm going with my Ravens. Uh, my, the next video I post won't be another Ravens gameplay, so don't worry about that. We'll get some variety in here. But I'm going for money, so it's going to be the Ravens for now. Um, I played this game about a week ago. It was a really good game. Get off to a nice start there, get a fumble, and then a one-play touchdown to my boy Torrey Smith. Dude, is a beast. He came out of Maryland, now he's beasting for Baltimore, so he's Maryland through and through. But this dude using the Broncos, uh, I mean, the Broncos are good. They just don't have the weapons at receiver uh, that I would like in order to use them. Nice cutback right there for real, though. Uh, Should have switched hands with the ball, so he didn't have any chance of fumbling, but good cutback. Um, yeah, I mean, the Broncos are nice. They got, I mean, obviously, they have a sick defense. You got Doomerville and Mon Miller coming off the two edges, so you know they're beastly on D. And right here, oh, the play action killed me. I really thought he was going to run it. I ran commit, but great, great play call. Gutsy play call by this kid. He gets in the end zone on the next play. So we got a 7-7 game. Uh, it's going to be it's gonna be a tough game, not a, not too easy, which I like. Um, I don't want to just run train on people. I want to actually get some good gameplays. It makes it more fun to post, to edit. Uh, I'm sure it's more fun to watch for you guys. So the good games, just got to keep them coming. Damn, how did Vaughn just get all the way around? I had like four blockers over there. He got around Ray Rice, got around everybody. Damn, my blind side was not protected. Sandra Bullock, where the hell you at? <laughs> um, okay, now, to get to the gameplay, I took my three right there. In in money games, I always take my points if I can get them, uh, but I always do go for it on fourth down as well. Even if I'm in my own red zone, I trust my defense enough. But if I'm in field goal range, I'm going to take my three. It's always a good idea to take your points. I just cannot stress that enough because it will come back to bite you in the ass. And you know we got to play some fag D on third down here. But Bernard Pollard, I went for the big hit too soon. I got excited because I had Bernard Pollard. I mean, dude is a heavy hitter. I mean, real heavy. I mean, he took Tom Brady out for the season that one year. But uh, I make a bad play on D. He makes a good pass, and he gets the touchdown. Um, but I'm going right back to work on offense. I'm super confident on offense. Um, it's, it's defense that I really have to think about more, and it's actually – it turns out to be way more fun to play, I think, because I have to think so much more. It turns it into really like a chess match, which is really cool about Madden. It's 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 more of a strategy game rather than like a quick reaction, like twitchy game as like Call of Duty is. Or <laughs> I mean, in the dorm, we just play like Super Smash Bros. all day, which is fun as hell on the N64. If you haven't tried that out, I highly suggest going to check uh, Super Smash Bros. out. But if you don't know what Super Smash Bros. is, I don't know where your childhood was. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, Madden's more of a chess match as opposed to like a quick uh, brawl type game where you're just mashing buttons. But Madden definitely takes a lot of strategy, which I think is one of the coolest parts about it. So right here, you see I have a 17-14 lead. I'm moving the ball easily. We get down inside the 5-yard line, and we're just going to throw our little screen. Like, sort of screen, sort of, I don't know, quick pass to the flat. Either way, it works. Ray Rice gets in the end zone because Ray Rice is a beast. Uh... He's one of my favorite running backs to use on this game. I feel like the shorter running backs are better at cutting for some reason. Like, I have a lot harder time tackling Maurice Jones-Drew than I do, like, uh, I, don't, I don't even know an example of a tall running back. They don't really exist. But even, for example, like Adrian Peterson, I just think it's harder to uh, tackle Ray Rice or Maurice Jones-Drew than it is Adrian Peterson. And I think it's just because they're shorter. Their stats may be a little different, but I'm pretty sure it's just that their height, they... They cut faster. I mean, they're just... I think the shorter running backs are really where it's at for some reason. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But, you know, <laughs> Tory Smith making Champ Bailey look stupid. Not many people make Champ Bailey look dumb. But we were able to do it right there. We got a 14-point lead. And now he only has 343 left in the game. So what I'm really trying to do is just make his drive take as long as possible. So that... I mean, so we're able to get down to the two minute warning waste that make him maybe use some of his timeouts just so he really has no chance after i get the ball back and we we actually really do a shitty job of that we we let him score with 237 left uh didn't even come close to getting to the two minute warning but that i mean i 
it's all right. We just need a couple first downs and the game will be over. Uh, right there, we get one of them. We only need one more first down and the game will be over. But, you know, right here on Mad Hatter's channel, we go big. We get the touchdown. I mean, go big or go home, right? Uh, but that ends the game. If you guys like this, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. That would be fantastic. I would really appreciate it. I mean, I do this for, for you guys. So uh, have a great day. It's your boy, the Mad Hatter, and I am signing out.